If fashion is art, Sonia Rick E.L. is considered a master. Women's wear daily did her the queen of knitwear though she was the first to admit she didn't know how to knit, and her designs have been shown in museums. Rick E.L., who had Parkinson's disease, died Thursday morning at her home in Paris. She was 86. The artistic, independent, rebellious. Rick D.L. embodied the intellectual chic and feminism of Paris in the late 1960s. She wanted women to look both powerful and sexy. Above all, she wanted to give them complete freedom of movement. Knitwear wasn't new when she started making clothes, but Rick D.L. made it fashionable. With vibrant stripes or simple black, her clothes hugged a woman's body. She rejected linings and embraced exposed seams, defiantly decreeing that the sweater should be worn against the naked skin, according to her website. The famously red-headed Riquiel was born to Russian and Romanian parents just outside Paris in 1930. She once said that having Slavic roots meant being hopeless and hopeful, to be amazing and to be destroyed but her first forays into fashion were more practical. In her early twenties, she married a Paris boutique owner. When she couldn't find anything she liked in his shop, she started making her own clothes. Pregnant at the time, she made maternity clothes that she wanted to wear, form-fitting, stylish and comfortable. Her husband began selling her designs in his shop. Demand for her poor boy sweater and other nets grew so strong, she opened her own fashion house on Paris Left Bank in 1968. French singer and fashion icon Francoise Hardy, Bridget Bardot and Audrey Hepburn were among her famous early fans. Over time, Riquiel built a multi-million dollar global brand that remained independent until 2012 when a Hong Kong firm acquired 80% of it. Paying homage to the designer, French President François Hollande said Rick E. L. invented not only the style but an attitude. As for her own personal philosophy, Rick E. L. provided a glimpse in a piece she penned for The Guardian in 2008 titled, What I See in the Mirror. She writes, I can't smoke, and I can't drink and I don't really keep fit. I would love to do it more. I don't think I would ever have plastic surgery. There isn't anything I'd want to change. My view is that you have to deal with who you are. It's hard work, in a way, but somebody is to do it.